This slithering robot could one day save your life. Let's face it, robots can do a lot of things you and I can't. But for some, the best part is less about what they can do and more about where they can go. This is the Guardian S from robotics company Sarcos. It's nicknamed, surprise, surprise, the snake. This thing does it all. It crawls up metal walls thanks to its magnetized body. It scoffs at stairs. And it can roll over on command a hell of a lot better than my dog. If the name Sarcos sounds familiar, you may have caught Lexi's beta test on the company's exoskeleton, the Guardian XO. And much like the XO, the snake is designed to augment human capabilities, albeit in a pretty different way. Think of it like a scout. It's operated by a simple remote built to keep people from having to go into dangerous environments. So the idea is you can take this robot and send it into the location. It can tell you if there are hazardous gases or if there is some other kind of hazardous thing that might damage or injure either people or things. You might be thinking, isn't this what drones are for? Sure, but most drones can't fit into tight places and they're limited by their flight times. The snake is designed to slip into those places drones can't reach, like the inside of a pipe. It can run for three and a half hours nonstop or stay in what Sarcos calls surveillance mode for 12 hours. It's equipped with multiple cameras, six of them in fact, including an infrared camera, and microphones which feed back audio in real time. It can be customized to detect hazardous gas, vibrations. Really, it can be fitted with any type of sensor you can think of. So you can send it into a disaster zone to find out whether it's actually safe to send people in. It can even broadcast audio from the remote. Hello? Now, that could be useful for communicating with people who are trapped after an earthquake or even in hostage situations. That right there, that's a storage space Sarcos has nicknamed the sandwich box. That can be used to deliver supplies to people that you otherwise couldn't reach. And the snake is built tough, so it can navigate that rough, uneven terrain that you might expect in a disaster zone. And yes, it's water resistant, either IP65 or IP62, depending on the model. Another major advantage the snake has over a drone is the learning curve to control it. If you've ever tried to fly a drone, you know it can take a while to master. Controlling the snake is essentially like playing a video game, meaning rescuers and inspection crews could start using these pretty much right away without any special training. And weighing in at around 17 pounds, you can carry these just about anywhere. This isn't just a pet project. You can buy one of these right now. They start at $62,000 for the base model, and from there it depends on what kind of customizations you want. And don't be surprised if you start hearing more about these. Sarcos already has customers for the Guardian S. General Electric ran tests with them to inspect ducts for dust and debris, and they found using the robots significantly sped up the process and kept their employees safer as they didn't need to get on scissor lifts to do those inspections themselves. So what else do you think the Guardian S could be used for? Let us know in the comments. And if you have topics you want to see us cover on What the Future, send me a tweet. That's it for this week. I'm Andy Altman. See you in the future. Oh, this is just like playing a game. It's so easy. And I, I've just picked this up. Okay, let's, let's see.